I've lived in Barcelona for last three years and there are certain things that I wish I knew before moving here. And no, predicting COVID is not one of them. First thing I missed out on is Beckham's law, and it is called after David Beckham, who played in Real Madrid and he was one of the first people who benefited from this law. This law is now used to attract professionals coming to Spain, so what it gives you is flat 24% tax rate for first 6 years in the country. You would be able to get this tax rate only if you're earning under 20,000 per year, so the more you earn, the more you benefit from it. The reason I'm saying I missed out on it is because you have to apply at the first 6 months after starting your employment in the country. And if you apply after 6 months, your application is going to get denied. So don't be me, do your research on how to apply for Beckham's law and apply as soon as you can to save quite a bit of money here in Spain. Second thing, I didn't realize how small Barcelona actually is. After living in London for 8 years, I spent hours if not days researching which would be the best neighborhood to live in, what would be close to my office, to the beach, etc. It didn't cross my mind to check how long it would take to get from point A to point B. I mean, just look at this picture. It compares Central Park in New York to one of the biggest neighborhoods here in Barcelona. And you can see just how small Barcelona actually is. Most of the places to get to will take you 30 minutes or less if you live in Barcelona. Barcelona has great public transport system. It's cheap, reliable. It will get you where you need to go. You can also get shared bicycle rental for 50 euros a year. And there's plenty of cycling lanes here in the city. Or in a lot of cases, you can just actually walk. Where I'm going with this is as long as you don't choose some shady neighborhood, or if you don't live somewhere completely outside of the city, you'll still get to enjoy everything Barcelona has to offer. Of course, there are more desirable neighborhoods like Ejample or Gracia, and it's mostly because of the convenience and what these neighborhoods have to offer. But even if you don't live in the most exciting neighborhood, you can get to one within minutes. With all that said, my videos on Barcelona's neighborhoods is still a good resource when you're making a choice where to live. Next thing you should know, and I guess it depends on the country where you're moving from, Barcelona is not cheap. I had this image in my head that moving from London I'll be living like a king here in Barcelona and it's just not the case. Rent prices over last year just went crazy and right now you won't be able to find one bedroom flat that will cost you less than 1000 a month. And that might seem like a bargain if you compare it to rent prices in London or New York, but you need to remember that salaries here are way lower too. If you look at the average salary in 2023, it says that it's around 3000 euros a month. I'm sure if you ask them people on the street how much they earn, 8 or 9 of them will be earning way less than that. And there is even a TikTok channel that goes and asks people how much they earn here in Barcelona and most of them are nowhere near that amount. Where I'm going with this is that you have to be ready to spend significant amount of your salary on rent and then you also need to count in bars, restaurants, cafes, which will also be a bit more expensive than in other parts of Spain. Fourth thing you should know before moving to Barcelona is the language barrier. And I think that there's three levels to it. Level one would be only speaking English. And I feel like you would be stuck in this small bubble. If you need to go to a doctor, dentist, any sort of specialist, you will have limited amount of options. Not all of them speak English. Not to mention that if you're trying to find a job here, a lot of jobs will be requiring you to speak Spanish or Catalan. And it's also the same if you're trying to make friends or join some sort of social club. Then level two would be speaking Spanish. And if you speak Spanish and English, most likely you will be able to speak with 99% of people living here. You won't have that same issue when you are trying to make friends, see a specialist or go to some sort of event. But I think that you still won't be fully integrated into the city unless you speak Catalan. Locals are very proud of their culture and traditions. And if you want to break that invisible wall and fully integrate into the city and the culture, you will have to learn Catalan. Now with all that said, before I moved to Barcelona I didn't speak any Spanish or Catalan. It has changed since, but I still enjoy my time living here. So it really depends on your goals. If you're coming to Barcelona just for a year or two, you might not need to learn Catalan, but you'll have much better experience if you speak Spanish. But then if you really want to put your roots here and you're planning long term staying in Barcelona, learning Catalan is the way to go. Finally, the culture and the vibe of the city. Barcelona is definitely 
way more relaxed than other Western European or Northern European cities, but it's not as relaxed as some other parts of Spain. Apparently even people within Spain from other regions, they do say that Catalans are a little bit more focused on career and their job. There's definitely a certain rhythm and speed to life here in Barcelona, and it's definitely not as crazy as some other big cities, but you're not chilling at the beach 24-7. It's definitely not that vibe that you would get from a beach town. But in comparison, I personally still feel way more relaxed than I was in London or living in Lithuania. I guess outside culture, just spending more time with your friends and great weather does their job. If you're looking to move to Barcelona and want to learn more about how much it costs to live here, Make sure to check this video next where I go into detail on the costs of living here. If you enjoyed this video and you feel like you benefited from it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!